Welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this video, we'll walk through how to offload media using ShopPub Pro 2025. The offloading process in this version works much like earlier ones, but you'll notice the interface has a fresh look and some reorganized sections. In this tutorial, we'll cover both simple mode and preset mode, along with a few key settings that help customize and streamline your workflow. To begin, Make sure Simple Mode is selected from the drop-down menu at the top of the application. From here, it's easy to start a job by dragging and dropping your source and destination into the window. You can add more than one of each as needed. If you prefer to browse instead, just right-click and choose Browse for Items to open a Finder window. Before we start a job, let's take a quick look at some important settings. Open the main ShopUp Pro menu and select Settings. In the General tab, you'll find a few sections worth checking out. First, in the Copy section, you can adjust the order jobs are run, how to handle certain errors, and which metadata to preserve from the source. You can also filter files by extension, either to ignore them during the copy or to only copy those specific types. Multiple extensions can be entered as needed. Under Verify, you can choose which verification methods to use and whether to include directory checksums and source integrity checks for additional protection. In the Media section, you can choose when metadata is collected and what types of files it applies to. And finally, in the Queue Automation section, you'll find settings to detect cards or drives automatically, start jobs as soon as they're added to the queue, and eject the source when a job finishes. These options are especially helpful when combined with presets, which we'll cover in a moment. While you're in the settings, you can also turn on desktop, SMS, or email notifications for job status updates. Report settings will be covered in a separate video linked in the description below. With the settings in place, let's start a job in simple mode. Click the Start button in the top right to begin. You can give the job a name for organizational purposes, but if you leave it blank, the first item in the queue will be used as the default name. As the job runs, you'll see Live Speed and Progress. Click on the job in the queue to view its progress broken down by each step. You can also switch between three different result views using the icons. Job flow shows the source, destination, and machine running the offload. If you have multiple sources or destinations, they'll appear here. Job tree gives you a finder style view of all the files being copied. And finally, report preview shows a snapshot of all reports generated for that job. When the job finishes successfully, it will show us green with a done status. If there was an issue or it was canceled, it will appear in orange or red with the appropriate status noted. Now let's switch over to preset mode using the dropdown at the top of the screen. Preset mode lets you save and reuse your destination paths, naming structures, and verification preferences. This can save time, reduce errors, and help standardize your workflow. To create a new preset, right click and select Create New, or click the plus icon. Give your preset a name and assign it a color if you want to organize things visually, then click Create. This will open the preset editor. At the top, you can drag and drop your destinations folder into the queue. Below that, set your output naming scheme using plain text, drag and drop tokens, or both. While most tokens are self-explanatory, two are especially useful. The folder token, which creates a new folder in your output structure, and the custom token, which prompts you for text input when the job starts. You can preview your output structure at any time using the live preview above. The final section in the preset editor lets you configure verification. This will default to your global preferences, but can be overridden as needed. Once you finish creating your preset, simply close the editor. 
Before starting a job, there are two things to note about managing presets. First, you'll see a slider next to each preset. Use this to turn them on or off. You can run multiple presets at once by enabling them all. The job will show up as a single item in the queue, but it will include all destinations and settings from the active presets. Second, you can organize presets using folders. Right-click and select Create New, followed by Folder. Then drag presets into that folder to keep things tidy. One important note, when inside a folder, only the presets that are visible inside it will be used when starting a job. Now let's start a job in preset mode. As you'll see, the process is identical to simple mode on the surface, but behind the scenes, your preset destinations, naming, and verification preferences are applied automatically. And when combined with queue automation, it's easy to build a completely hands-off workflow. That wraps up our tutorial on offloading with Shopa Pro 2025. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.